We've talked about staging being a very vital part of preparing your home for sale. Which room do you think is the most important to be staged properly? Stay tuned and I'll tell you next. Hi, I'm Kelly Nitz of the Kelly Nitz team. Thanks for joining me today. I've been asked when selling a home, what room is the most important to stage properly? Well, that's an easy one. It's the kitchen. So it's the place where people gather and socialize and you know, um, meet usually. So the kitchen must be spotlessly clean and bright. To get your kitchen ready, you should completely clear off the countertops, everything, toasters, um, spices, just anything extra and out of the ordinary. You can have maybe a couple little things there, but just get all the clutter right off the countertop. Um, any you know gadgets or uh, mixing bowls or small appliances. And then you'll be surprised how much larger that counter space looks. You can kind of visualize it when you start that project. Also, clean the refrigerator. Get all the magnets off the refrigerator. Um, clean it really good and clean the stove and a microwave. Checking the lights and timers to make sure those work properly. Clean the vents and the exhaust hoods. Actually, if you look up under your exhaust hood, um, sometimes it appears that nobody ever looks up there because that's where all the grime ends up. So just take a peek up there. It's not something that you know you look at every day, but look up there and clean that really good. Wipe down the cupboards, especially around the little door handles. That's where the grime seems to accumulate. And if the cupboards are old, maybe put a fresh coat of paint and some new hardware on them. That'll really help. And then make sure the cupboard doors close tightly and the drawers, you know, operate and function like how they're supposed to function. And replace any broken handles. Um, so then make sure the inside of the cupboards aren't way too, you know, stuffed full of things to where things are falling out when you open them. Because the buyer will then think, boy, if this, if this is cupboard space is not enough for these people, is it going to be enough for me? Also, wash the inside of the refrigerator and add a box of baking soda to it to absorb, absorb any order that might be there and throw out any expired food. You know, if you get a refrigerator full of beer or something, you might want to, you know, change the, you know, what's in your refrigerator because you don't want them to form any impressions of you as a person by having a refrigerator full of beer. Um, anyway, make sure the kitchen sink is spotlessly clean. If it's a stainless steel sink, there's a, the right product to clean that and make it look really good. Um, just make sure the kitchen sink is really um, clean. Sometimes if you pour a little bit of bleach down there, it, you know, it kills any odor that might be coming from the kitchen sink. And then any repairs that need to be done on the kitchen countertop, sometimes you get little nicks here and there and make sure those are all repaired and remove any stains on the countertop. Uh, make sure there are no leaky faucets, nothing like a little dripping faucet that can annoy people. And check that little sprayer or two next to the sink. Make sure that it functions properly and there's enough water pressure there. People check the water pressure, so you know, make sure your pressure is um, good. And then clean the ceiling fan or any light fixtures that are in the kitchen. Replace any worn flooring or you know, if there's a loose tile or a missing tile, you know, just make sure the floor looks good too. You could also maybe if you needed to re, you know, when, when you replace it, you can get a deal at a flooring place where you maybe um, do an interest or no interest um, program that you have that lasts for a year and then you'll sell the house and be able to pay that off. So that's a good option for a lot of people. And if there is a little area where you have your pets, you know, eat, then clean that area up really good too. Or maybe change the area because the kitchen's so important. Change the, the place where your pets um, have their dishes, their where they eat their food. You could also set the table and that helps um, give the potential buyers an image of themselves enjoying the surroundings and it just looks nice to stage your kitchen table and have a place setting there. And if your kitchen is really outdated or in bad shape, um, an updated kitchen will um, improve your chances of selling the home. But chances are you only get about 50% back of the cost that you put into remodeling your kitchen. So be careful um, when you do that. It just depends on where the house is located and the stability of the values in your neighborhood. Um, that will determine what percentage of that investment you'll get back. But you know, if you, if you can't, if you don't have the money to totally replace the kitchen, updating the hardware and um, repainting, those kinds of things will give a good appearance also. 
To me, the kitchen is the most important room in the house when it comes to getting your house and making a good impression on the potential buyers. So if you find yourself pressed for time and you can only concentrate your efforts on one, you know, a couple of areas, concentrate on the kitchen for sure. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for allowing me to share this information with you today. If you found it helpful and you liked it, click the like button. If you'd like to hear more videos as they become available, just subscribe below and you'll be notified when new videos are available so that you can watch those also. If you have any questions or comments or maybe you have some helpful hints that you'd like to share with me as far as getting your kitchen ready for sale, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and we'll answer any questions that you have in a timely manner. And um, thanks again for watching.